It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. It starts with an R. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. For more juicy content. Dang it. Follow us on our official Twitter account and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button uh, and ring the bell to be part of that notification squad. Do it. Bang. That's what I'm talking about. We're here to review a little independent film. A little small thing that no one's really heard about. No one's talking about it. I don't uh, even know that they released any trailers on it. or and It probably won't get a lot of views because nobody knows what this film is. That's, which is... It's all right. Yeah. Um, just doing our job. Just doing... You know, we gotta, you gotta do certain things sometimes. Oh, yeah, it's but a movie review, right? Today we're doing a movie review! And you saw the title, boys and girls. Yep. We are reviewing... Horror! 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 <laughs> <laughs> That works. The film RRR. Yep. The film that's been supposed to come out for what, ages. It seems like two years yeah, now. Yeah, seriously. Uh, it finally came. We got to see it in almost a packed house. Yep. Uh, in IMAX. Yep. Which is the first time we've ever seen an Indian film in an IMAX screen. Yeah. And um, it's a directed by SS Rajamuli of Bahubali fame. Uh, and I think he also did the screenplay as well. Uh, starring NTR and Ram Charan, as well as supporting uh, characters of Ali Abad and Ajay Devgan and a th billion other people yeah. in, in, in this thing. But so since this is a new film, we will uh, be doing a non-spoiler non -spoiler. And then if we want, I'll let you know if we get into some spoils. Yeah. But since it's a new film that a bunch of people are highly anticipated with, we're going to do probably mostly non-spoiler. Yeah. And then if we want to talk some spoilers, talk some stuff we'll get into that you could come uh, back to later if that, you see Yeah, it. absolutely. Um, but Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, I have a paragraph. Okay. And I, I've been purposefully being low key because, you know, a lot of the movies we've seen in theaters have been pretty disappointing. That's true. We've, and we've seen every film that we've seen since yeah, Pushpa in, in theaters. theaters. And so and we've had high hopes for this film. So I'm now going to behave the way I really want to behave. Oh, thank you, God! <laughs> Here's my paragraph. It's five points. Number one, absolutely freaking fantastic. Number two, it lived up to the hype and my expectations and much more. By the way, I'm taking my family to go see. I already bought the tickets. Yeah, you already bought tickets. In the car on the way over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number three, it's everything a big-time action movie should be. Number four and five are going to be mind-blowing to some of you. Number four, I think this is one of the greatest action films I've ever seen. I don't think. I know that. Mm. And number five, without question for me, this is the greatest buddy film of all time. <laughs> <laughs> greatest buddy film of all time. I don't think anything comes this, close. This is the closest I've ever seen India come to a big Marvel film. Exactly. Um, and it, I like it more than I like some Marvel films. I Exact. I, I, not all Marvel. Films. There was a moment in there. I thought to my. I was watching it. I'm not going to give anything away. But there's. It was toward the end of the film. I'm watching it, and I had the, the thought, and it was, this is, this is even better than some Marvel films. Yeah. This moment right here with these guys, because these guys are being in. I don't want to give anything away. Yeah, and this is definitely the best big action film we've ever seen from India. Unquestionably. Um, like, by Head far. and shoulders by far. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know I said going in, I was like, I'm expecting a war of like, um, of, of, <laughs> this is of, 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 of like, in terms of just action. <laughs> it and, makes, and, and it that's makes war look oh. like a little, <laughs> yeah, it makes, <laughs> makes the war look like absolute <laughs> dog shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. This, this film was so fun. And we got the absolute pleasure of seeing it in a full, in a theater full of Indians screaming, screaming every single time uh, something awesome happened. Anytime Ramtron or NTR came on screen and they were big, their big epic selves, they were cheering. We did. And there, we were some, there were some stupid babies too. They, oh, many stupid babies. Yeah. Uh, and we they start we started cheering with them. Uh, it was so absolute fun and. I, I can't imagine seeing a film like this not in that setting. And also IMAX. So if you can, see this film in a in room a big, full of Indians. Obviously, big, big, most of yeah, you are in India. Can. But in IMAX, this film deserves 
to be seen in IMAX. Yes, absolutely. A thousand, a thousand percent. Yep. It was so... <laughs> I don't want to give anything away. But literally, like, you're almost 45 minutes into this thing. And what pops up? The title card. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, the other thing, this isn't a spoiler, but it's something we were completely shocked. We had a real interval. Yeah. We, they gave us like five minutes. Like it stopped, it said interval, and we're all sitting there, and then everybody's like, because the lights didn't come up. Like, is this a real even interval? All the, even all the Indians were like, because I know you guys in India have them all the time, and they say it on the screen for us here, but then they usually just pop up the next the screen for us. They yeah. never give you like five minutes. I'm so glad they did. I had to pee real bad and I didn't want to get up yeah. because I was enjoying exactly so much of what was going on. Okay, but yeah, this SS Rajamuli, I and I know you guys are so mad at us for our Baho Bali reviews, but obviously we're, we're very we're honest. Gonna do. We're honest. This, how how I feel about this film is how I feel a lot of Indians felt about Baho Bali. Probably. And, and, and like that passion they right. had and how much they loved this film. Yeah, because if somebody said they didn't like this film and they were just going on and on and on. I'd say, okay, I don't know. I really don't know what it is you don't like about this movie. And, that, and it doesn't change our opinion of Bahubali. Obviously, no. we still, and maybe it'll be different if maybe we saw we it in too, it. Maybe we were too new to, I don't also, know. Also, we didn't get to see it in IMAX with a room True. full of Indians. So maybe that would have done lap I don't know, but that's how I feel about this film. Yeah. I'm so excited for everybody to watch this film because I think it's that fun and good. Yeah. And, Obviously, there there are some issues that 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 are with it. Presumably, they're all pale, um, <laughs> except for Mark Bennington. Mark Bennington. Mark, we we were t we were talking about why, well, you know, you don't, the the type of look they were going for. We would have preferred you to have had the screen time yeah. of the yeah, main uh, antagonist, shall we say, without giving any. You guys away. know our opinion of white but people. There's a lot of really it, really awful it, it, white it, actors. It's in this film, and so you, it, it just repeat what we said. It's that's that's what that is. Yeah. Uh, so you, I don't want to harp on that too much. If you if you go, we go, we knew it was going to happen. <laughs> they didn't disappoint. So if you know that and you're going to get a lot of it, it's unfortunate that they bring the film down. Uh, oh but, yeah. But, but if you could just <laughs> just leave that relegate it to that and you're and, fine. And it's like going into a bathroom. You expect it to smell. And there are some believability stuff in terms of stuff, but I just don't give a shit. Exactly. In this style of film. Because no. I, I, like I said, I equate this to a Marvel film. Yeah. There's plausibility and, like, obviously stuff that defies physics. Yep. It's the exact same thing yep. here. Yep. Um, and so, like, those little nitpick things, I don't care about in this film. Because nope. I was smiling ear to ear. and Smiled. A for three hours. Three hours. It ended, and I was happy, and I didn't really want it to end, and I couldn't wait to go back. And just that's like, why I bought tickets again immediately. That's also, like, you know, people were mad at us for our, our, our Pushpa review, right? That's a three-hour film. This is also a three-hour film. This is about, like, 15 minutes. It's much, much better uh, in, in what they were able to do with this film all around. I thought uh, NTR and Ram Charan had great chemistry together. They Nobody... I can't imagine anybody on earth that I can think of that I would want. I'd be mad to think of anyone else mm -hmm. than these two guys playing these roles. I yeah. thought they were perfect. And I know, I think this is, I think this is the first time we've seen either, honestly. Uh, it's Junior and Tierra, sorry, not NTR. Yeah, sorry, uh, yeah. It's Junior and Junior and Tierra. Um, but yeah, I thought they, they had great chemistry Fantastic. together. Um, and I thought their chemistry with their significant others, obviously, <laughs> Ali Bot's in it for like 0.5 seconds. Exactly. Uh, and I don't even think it's her real voice. Uh, <laughs> and I, I actually thought it was for a while she wasn't going to have a line in the whole thing. Cause... Right, I know. Because <laughs> she was going to look. Or... But she did good. She did um, good. And I, I, they did, getting to, to, to them, they, they do everything. They did, uh, they did the action sequences spectacularly. Yes. Also, I they, hope you enjoyed our intro. Yeah. <laughs> the, they did the um, and right after we right after we filmed the intro because we filmed the intro yesterday we're like man I really hope the movie's good <laughs> it's gonna suck to have like done because we don't do mm. the intros to a Pre review yeah, yeah. like this that much so anyway their their action sequences I really believed them when they were in the moments that were dramatic and emotional mm -hmm. I really believed them when they were interacting with each other and their comedy moments were rip roaring funny. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They like the the writing perfect. in this. This is They were perfect. This is I'm hoping like India builds off of this cuz obviously this had the budget, right, to to do what it wanted to do. Spectacular. I want India to start doing that for their big action films. Cuz obviously we've seen it before, where, you know, the 
they're like, oh, it was nice, but the you know CGI took a hit. The, the CGI in this was great. I thought the tiger and it, like there was there was a lot of animal. I'm not gonna give anything away. Yeah, I'm not gonna. But give there was away. a lot of animals. There was what a lot you of saw on the trailers. Action, a lot of action. There's the VFX. There were several places, for the most part, where I saw something and I couldn't tell. I'm like, was that an aerial shot or was that CGI? Was that? And there there are some moments where you can see it and you do know. But there's so much great work being done that even if you see the slightest little thing where you're like, okay, I'm get like super technical, like, okay, I could tell that the paw print of the tiger on the ground didn't carry the weight into it and it doesn't look like it's really on the ground. If you're going to be that nitpicky with this, <laughs> then you're never going to like a movie. No, no, no. Because no. it's so insignificant. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, they, they did such a good job in all their dance numbers. Like that, that uh, the... <sighs> The, obviously, the one that we did, I forget the uh, Nacho or Natu. Natu, 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 Natu. The one that we did in the intro, right? In case you didn't skip the intro. Go watch yeah, the go intro. Yeah, go watch again. the intro. Um, it was even better in on the big screen with right, everybody right. screaming and oh. yelling and, and, and doing all their stuff and the energy that they brought in this. The was, energy these guys bring is. is expended was off incredible. The charts, man. This is off one of the most charts. fun times I've had in a theater. Uh, Absolutely, ever. 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 It was... I, even I, in big Marvel films, you know, yes. you have a good time. Uh, but, like, the fact that, you know, you're smiling, you have, you're laughing, you're, you're cheering. Yes. Because, obviously, we don't have that. I mean, Marvel's the closest you get. There'll be some cheers when, like, a new suit comes out, right? Right. Uh, or, or the penultimate moment, which was... I mean, this is a good example. The end game. That, yeah. The end game climax, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was just that moment. That just that moment. This thing carries itself... Throughout the totality of the three hours. Yeah, it does. With with, just, um, I don't know how you make a bigger, entertaining, action, just off. The, I mean, again, the thing the, the, the thing for me about loving a film is if I want to take other people to see it. <laughs> and I was instantly on my phone looking for showtimes and telling... Everybody, to, you know, Indrani, Alexis, Micah, my cousin Melissa, Ashley, she can't go sadly right yeah. now because she, got, she has a newborn at home. Man. But I said, it's on me, my treat, I want to take you. Because I wanted them to experience this in IMAX with a full house. It's just everything a movie's supposed to be. Yeah, absolutely. And I thought the, the pacing that uh, S.S. Rajamuli did, it was really good. I wouldn't change a minute. Because it was... Um, it was uh, Obviously, you get a lot of action, a ton of action. Like, it starts no, off, and you get amazing it's, opening action it's scene. everything you wanted. And then the every song was so good. Every single song uh, in this film I loved. Uh, and I was so... We were dancing in our chairs. Yeah. Uh, Screaming and howling with everybody. Yeah. Um, and so I thought, this is Roger Mooley in... Like I said, I, I know we've criticized him with Bahubali in the past... But I, he, he lives up to his name in this one a thousand billion percent. A billion times um, over. And I want him to direct 10,000 action movies and, and like this. Yep, please. More, more, more. Because it, it there is a place for the big... I, like, I didn't even do a review. And some of you may have seen it and liked it. But, like, I didn't even do a review of Batman because I was so disappointed in Batman. And I've heard mixed reviews about Batman. I, I, I like I said at the beginning, I've... Was sitting here astonished and thinking to myself, uh, this is, I haven't had this much fun in an action film since a Marvel film, and this is more sustained fun and enjoyment throughout. Mm -hmm. And I agree, you've got to really, and we can get into some spoilers, you really just have to set aside, and this comes from us knowing this from past experience, that you set aside any physics being which we can talk... I want to talk about that in the spoilers. Yeah. I'll talk about that in the So, spoilers. if you haven't seen it, just go watch it. It's an amazing Please film. Please go give it its support. It, I mean, it's not going to be hurting for money, obviously. It's going to do amazing. Um, but support it. Um, and Because I think it's a, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal film uh, that everyone should go see and have a great time yes. while doing it. Um, so, it, we're going to talk a little more, but we're going to get into spoils. So, if spoilers you haven't seen now. it, please go watch it uh, and come back. Mark the time and come back, because now we're going to talk as if you've seen the film. Yes. Um... I thought uh, even like the the throwback scenes with Ajay Devgan, I thought were really really good. He did a, he did a great job. Yeah, and it, the, you know what my favorite thing about that? Mm. I love the score. Yeah, the score throughout this thing is so great. 
But in that segment, remember how we pointed out in the uh, Kamal Hassan movie that we just watched, whose name I will mispronounce, yeah, 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 yeah. how when they did the documentary footage, there was no score. Mm -hmm. Well, when they went to the village and did those points, there was no score. Mm -hmm. They kept it as as real and as grounded as possible to give you some of that emotional connectivity with the character, and it worked. Yeah, it really uh, worked. It did, uh, and I thought, uh, Jay, obviously he has a bigger part than Alia did um, in this, um, but uh, I thought he did a, a really good job, and I thought that was needed, that part of it, yeah. um, to bring a little um, background to obviously what... Um, NTR, NTR, right? Yeah, well you can just... No, 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 J Ram, 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 Ram and Beam. Yeah, Ram. Yeah. Uh, his character and what what he went through. Right. And man, the stunt work in this. Uh, Off obviously charts. in our in our dummies. Uh, I, I guess KGF could maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Well, uh, what's going? KGF on? could, but no one else is going to come close to this. But KGF. Well, uh, that I can think of. Uh, unless that Ram Beer film comes out, and we'll see how that is. Right. Obviously. But this was. Uh, this is of any in, of any film I've seen. I can't remember the, a film that has more or better stunt work than this. The scale of this is insane. Insane. It's Marvel. Yeah, it is. Marvel it's Marvel level, level of the amount of extras, yep. the sets they did, the yep. the just and how beautiful it was with the cinematography. Yep. It looked real. Yep. Uh, unless you have a white actor talking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Every other moment, it's great. And <laughs> it was it was so great because we're in the spoiler section. We're like, I leaned over to Corbin at one point, and I said, please kill the white actors. Yes. Please kill the white actors. So when the white actors died, we were all very happy in the theater. Yeah, and this thing, in how they did their stunt work, from the beginning to the end, from the beginning scene, once again, spoilers, um, right off the bat, Ram, when, when he took on the entire village. Yeah. And obviously, it's one of those things, obviously, one guy can't take on the whole thing. You don't care. You don't yeah, care. In this, he's a superhero in this. He's right? a superhero who's, in, he is spiritually empowered to do what he's doing. Yeah, and then towards the end, it was Oh, absolutely. the epic ending. The epic ending where, oh. he, where he becomes, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know the, I don't know if it's, uh, is it Ram? Yeah. That he, that he, he is becomes, Ram. He becomes Ram. And forgive us if we're getting that wrong, but we know both of them are imbued with and are representative of... I think it's Ram. I think so, too. Yeah, he obviously... When when he that, mo hair. that moment when he's there and there's the fire and he's yeah. pulling back the boat. Some of the stunt work in this is insane. Like, the, the bridge thing, obviously, that, we, that I think we saw in the trailer. Oh! Like, it was so epic. When they meet. Yeah. <laughs> they meet down the at the... That's why it's the greatest buddy film of all time. Yeah. There'll be no greater meeting of the two buddies than that. Yeah, and then the, everybody <laughs> cheering. And then the end part where he gets him out of the prison and the, he does it all with him on his on shoulders. On his shoulders! Which I'm assuming he was on wires, obviously. Right, but... Look you great. Can't, you can't tell. Can't tell. I'm just assuming because obviously they did a lot and it the, was really cool. He did the lean back on Beam's shoulder, right? Rom leans back. Mm -hmm. And I. it looked like... I mean, they may have had a harness, but if they did, it was flawless. Yeah. Because it looked legit. And thank you so much, sir, for directing this film in such a way that we got some of the greatest kills. Uh. Like the one where the thing goes through the tree and it's right <laughs> at the guy's eye. And then he just runs up and goes, <laughs> in his ear. <laughs> oh, I cheered so hard. So good. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, the, the, the kills they had in this. Some they great didn't, kills. They spared no expense yeah. uh, with uh, with some of the kills and the, and the bloodiness of it, which I love. Yep. I'm very glad they decided to, to do that. Um, but yeah, the right at right at the end, uh, where you know it was the big epic fight scene um, with all of them. Man, this thing was like the end of Avengers Endgame. Yeah, obviously, maybe the VFX was a little bit obviously better in that one, but they spent you know half a billion yeah, they, dollars. They, yeah, right? they spent ten yeah. times as really much money. Fully compared to that, no. Um, but like, if they give a superhero film for India, and obviously they do it like S.S. Rajamouli did. Um, like Manal Minari, mm -hmm. they can make a film just like Marvel. 100%. It's just a matter of having the same resources. And it's really a credit that, that, they can make, yeah, that they can make something this big on a fraction of what... And obviously, the, this was a massive budget, obviously. But, but uh, it's compared, a fraction of Marvel. Compared to what Marvel did. Yeah, it was, it was so good. <laughs> and it was... Oh, when he... Lashed him right. <laughs> yeah. The flesh came off. Yeah. With it. And that's that's the point oh. of like. So, also, so she was example. the worst actor. Oh you know, yeah. Uh, she was the worst. Brutally bad. Sorry. The whole theater when she died and the blood is dripping on his face because she's dead. Everybody was celebrating the death of that character. Oh, God. Um. But back to the you know the straining credulity thing that yeah, 
you watch him go through that flagellation and like haven't seen anything since like Braveheart and Passion of the Christ combined mm -hmm. in that moment. And then two days later, he's able he's to fine. run, yeah. right? Same thing happened to Rom as well. He's in solitary and he's been not fed for a week. And, you know, but and he's buff. That's the thing. And that's one of the things that I, I almost got emotional watching that end sequence because I was thinking about all the little Indian boys and girls watching these heroes and the difference between these heroes and say like the Marvel heroes, I feel like there's a, per a personal connection of sense of I could I could maybe be that yeah, because they're basically they're, they're, playing they're, freedom fighters. They're freedom fighters who are humans, but their their strength doesn't come from a science experiment or from having been from another universe. Having billions of dollars. No, their superpower is the fact that they're Indian. Mm -hmm. That's freaking glorious. Yeah, it's absolutely oh. absolutely incredible. Um, it, yeah, every, everything about this film. It was absolutely one of the most fun times I've had. Um, I guess the the closest you'd have. I mean, you know, we've loved a bunch of Indian films, but in terms of like big action films, like I, I can't even think. No, of, I mean, I guess like the Joda Akbars, but obviously the action it doesn't even compare. No, the um, last the last time I had this much enjoyment and the the sense of this is one of the greatest things about theater both cinematic and stage is the collective experience with the audience mm -hmm. obviously in stage you get to have the interaction with the artists in that moment that they get to share with you as well but in a movie theater there's things that no nothing could ever be replicated on stage and i the last time i felt this sense of joy and community in a film was the climax of endgame yeah Absolutely. And that's saying something because that doesn't, it's very, very rare. It's amazing that, very a, rare. that a film that was probably the most hyped film uh, in in recent memory for India, right? Yep. Um, obviously, everybody knows this is a big, massive film. It's, it's been, been years. Years. We years know that RR waiting. was coming out. Uh, lived up and exceeded my expectations, yeah. which is something obviously every film that we've seen thus far this year in theaters has not been able to do. Yeah, uh, and it's absolutely incredible that it pulled this off. Uh, and and I'm, I'm believing for a one-two punch. I'm hoping. I'm holding out the same hope for KGF two, baby. Oh yeah, they, that the one-two punch. Now it has. I mean, it's good. Couple, three weeks away now, yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. Um, it has a lot to live, and not that it has to be fully compared, but it's another big, massive action film. Yeah, that I'm hoping we get an IMAX with a, a, a room full of Indians. And, and when when we left, there were a couple of, like I said, there were a couple of stupid babies that were there that, that said hi and wanted to take pictures, asked us what we thought about the film. And um, when we were walking out, this one uh, guy who had been talking to us a little bit, and when minute we walked out, he's like, expecting a good review, what'd you think? His name's uh, Aaron. Hi, Aaron from, from Woodland Hills. But it was really sweet when he was walking out. He said, I've been watching you guys. I love what you guys do. Anytime you do something to Lugu, something inside of me. And he immediately didn't correct himself, but explained. And he stopped and he said, I love all the industries. I love all Indian things, but I have a very particular thing. And I said, well... My wife's Bengali, man. She, anything Bengali, she has a thing. He says, yeah, but I, I love all the industries like you do. And I was like, good to yep. hear that. Yeah. But for anybody who is Telugu speaking, yeah. you, you got to be proud of and this film. It, it's it's not one of the things where it's just a Lou Arjun fans, a Junior NTR fans, Telugu fans are going to enjoy it. Everyone that goes to see this film, it, unless you're expecting the lunchbox, which obviously I don't know why. Right. You, why <laughs> why you, would you go see this? Why would you expect a small little intimate film like that? Right. Uh, if you if you watch the trailer, you're gonna get that. That's what you're gonna get. Yeah. And it's gonna be an amazing ride. Right. Um, and so I, I think everybody from every industry should see this film. Absolutely. And, and you should absolutely champion this film. Champion this film because it's so good. Yep. Uh, Share it with everybody. It's, it's so I, fun. One of my favorite moments was not just the energy of the dance sequence, but the message of the dance sequence. I loved that that stupid ass white guy is like ripping on him for not being able to do the flamenco and all his other crappy dances, right? They're not crappy dances. They're great dances, but they're his dances, so they're crappy. And then they're like, oh yeah, well can you not, not to? to? And how it was a dance off. I loved when they joined and it was a dance off and yeah. then he couldn't he couldn't handle it. Yeah. And then I loved 
I love that sweet moment of the greatest buddy film of all time. The buddies are doing the dance off. They're squaring off and it's Beam and Rom and they're fighting and Rom looks over and he sees the girl that he likes rooting for him and he's like, I'm gonna give you, a, here's a good one for you, buddy. I'll be your wingman. Oh, and he's like, yeah, I won. He's like, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Loved uh, it. And also, uh, outside of Mark Bennington, I thought she was probably the best white actress of them. Yeah, she did fine. Uh, I, I wanna, I wanna shout yeah, her out. Yeah, give a shout out. Thank you. Uh, uh, we, we really should give her a shout out because yeah. obviously we expected Mark to be solid because he is, but. Is it Allison Duty? Uh, Allison Duty, I believe, who played uh, Behem's love interest. Yeah. Thank you for the casting to choose someone who was a believable person in such a, a, a large role yeah. in this. She was uh, in, in a, in enjoyable. A, in a film full of terrible white actors. Yeah, she no. Was, she, was not, she was not one she, of them. She was so not one of them. Of, uh, <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, that's our review, and I'm so happy we're able to give this to you because yep. uh, it's... You, we said it all the time. We hate giving bad reviews uh, to films we don't like, but we love giving reviews to films that we, we absolutely adored and loved. Yep. Um... Let us know what you thought about this film. And if you didn't please. like it, you're wrong. Yeah, if you didn't like it, you're absolutely wrong, you <laughs> idiots. Uh, <laughs> and please let us know uh, what should be the next Telugu film we should watch. And I can't wait for a KGF trailer. Also, um, I'm, I don't know how many I have because I haven't actually looked at the bloopers. But uh, I'll put some bloopers of our, our intro at the end of the review, so after the the credits, so if you guys just want to stay learning for that. how to do this, yeah, and yeah it, 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 it took a, it took a couple tries, uh, but uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Let us know what you thought about the film down below. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Fucking do it again. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> Fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh.